So my first half marathon is one that I wouldn't recommend that people do. Um, my first half marathon was one where um, it was actually before I had done my half marathon training with a coach. I decided that I'd been doing my, my ease into 5k program and I'd run 6k's. 6k's was the furthest I'd ever run and so I decided that why not why not do the half marathon at this point? I know I can run 6Ks. Uh, 21, yeah, that's a bit of a stretch, but I could, I could walk the rest of the way if I wanted to. So I rocked up on the day, and I was really excited, lots of nerves, and I thought, okay, 6Ks, right, I can do this. So I started, I got to my 6K mark, mark, and after that it was like, yeah, PB, come on, 7Ks, woo! And I kept on going, kept on going, I was like, okay, I can do 8Ks, it's just one more K. And I just kept going and kept going, and, and I just was too stubborn to actually give up. And I actually ended up running an entire 21 k's and I don't recommend training for 6 k's and then running 21. It's an absolutely ridiculous way to do a half marathon and if I had had my cell phone in my pocket at about the 15 k mark probably would have just called straight away for a hearse because that's how I felt at the time so so I wouldn't yeah it was really good um, exercise for me that if you're going to do something like that you need to have the right training in the first place to get on board. The next one is more memorable because that's the one that I actually trained for and I had my coach on board and she taught me the right tapering and, and all those sorts of things and I'd actually done 18Ks prior to it and, and built up to the right mileage. Um, that one was the Rotorua Half Marathon and I felt on that day as I ran off over that start line, I really felt like a runner. You know, I'd done all the work for it, and it was the day that was that all the training came together. It wasn't like that was the hard bit. The hard bit was the training leading up to it, the commitment to it, and getting out there in the mornings when it's cold and dark and raining, and going to training anyway. That's the hard part. And actually, the the running the half mar marathon on the day was actually more like the glory. It was kind of like this is this is the payoff for all that hard work that I've done. Um, and you know, Rotorua was a beautiful course. Um, and I, and I just remember, um, you know, all the things that my trainer had told me. So, you know, at the start, everyone ran really, really fast. And I was just keeping a little check on my watch going, actually, these people are running really fast and I don't want to be one of those people. Someone once said to me, you can't win a half marathon in the first, first few minutes, but you can lose it. And I saw a lot of people around me who were doing that. They clearly didn't have the, the training that I had. So I went nice and slow and I plodded along through those first few Ks. And as I came to the first hill, all of those people who'd gone too fast, they were just dying up the hill. You know, they'd already pushed themselves way too hard. And there was me who'd done my training. I'd done my hill repeats and I just powered up that hill. And I just powered past all these people. And there's nothing like that feeling of just absolutely knowing you feel fit and strong and that you've done the right work so powered up there you know and it kept going through that race and, and I just felt good and strong the whole way and I got to the end the last couple of k's and I just I don't know where it comes from you get this rush of adrenaline at the end you know you've got the crowd down the side who are cheering you on and you just get this rush of adrenaline and you run faster than than you've ever run before and you don't even really feel like you've got anything left you know your legs are tired by then but just something kicks in and it's, it's just amazing. Um, and crossing that finish line was, was phenomenal. And that was the first time I broke two hours. So I ran a 158 on that one, which, which, was, you know, which was amazing. It was six months after my two and a half hours. I'd cut 32 minutes off my time in six months. So all those hill repeats and all the interval training and all that speed work you know, had, really, had really made a big difference.